this is the SQL Server database programming DB and uh, this is the product setup table and the records and columns available you can see now I'm gonna show how to connect uh, SQL with Visual Studio in ASP.NET using C Sharp and uh, instantly I will show you how to load data from this SQL Server database table to ASP.NET grid view so I just created a page and I'm gonna design this page with a grid view control connect SQL to Visual Studio in ASP.NET C Sharp and then in this deep tag I'm gonna add a grid view so go to the toolbox and drag the grid view and drop it in the deep tag yes the grid view is added white 80 percent yes color color will be white yes now it's looking fine now I'm gonna adding a method to load data from SQL to grid view after connecting with SQL okay so SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection added a reference system to data dot SQL client okay the reference is added now go to the server explorer add connection select the server name and select the authentication put your username and password save password select the database database is programming ddb what i already shown you and the table name is product setup tab okay right click the uh, database and go to the property copy the connection string and paste it in the sql connection okay it's done now in the method write the sql command sql command is to select the records from the sql server database table to sp.net grid view using c sharp so select star from product underscore setup underscore tab as same as the table name sql server table name okay initialize the connection string con sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter initialize the command finally add a data table to use data table you have to add reference system dot data using system dot data okay finally fill the data in dt then grid view under data source equal to dt grid view under data bind okay now go to the page load event if not not is forced back and then call the method load data yes it's done for the actual password default it's uh, showing star you should put actual password okay right click view in browser oh error unrecognized escape sequence okay go to the cs file let's check the connection string oh it's displaying an error due to backslash to avoid this backslash add at the rate beginning of the connection string okay now again right click view in browser yes successfully loaded data from sql server database to grid view change the design of the grid view to look it better okay alternate row style back color and header style back color yes let's check how it's looked yes it's looking uh, awesome thanks for watching this tutorial